So today I'm talking about a P0041 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0041 code? Well, it's an O2 sensor signal swapped, bank one, sensor two, bank two, sensor two. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that goes into the cylinders. And then they also have heater elements built in that help the system do a few things to help it go into what's called a closed loop quicker. And the onboard computer computer's seen a problem with this, and so it's going to have to be troubleshooting. Know why? And some possible causes. Well, the sensor wires could have been crossed. So if the vehicle's recently been worked on. Be sure to check for that. There could be some kind of wiring issue going on that's causing the problem. The computer could be bad. The PCM or ECM. There could be some kind of issue going on with that and possibly a bad O2 sensor. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is locate all the oxygen sensors on your particular vehicle since there can't be some differences on how they're laid out and how many there is and what's going on. For example, here's a 2007 Camry with the 3.5 liter V6. And as you can see, there's four oxygen sensors. Here's bank one, sensor one, bank one, sensor two. Here's bank two, sensor one, and then bank two, sensor two, oxygen sensors. And with this code, the onboard computer is seeing these two downstream oxygen sensors that the wiring's been switched inside of them for some reason. And so those are the main ones to go and locate is going to be these downstream sensor two oxygen sensors. And so the first thing to do when you locate those downstream oxygen sensors is to check out that wiring real good. Be sure somehow that the wiring hasn't been swapped out or anything like that. You can also check it for any damage like open shorts, anything like that going on with it because this code does point to something going on with the wiring and that somehow got switched. It is possible that the onboard computer is just given this error because it's seeing the wrong sensor react to what's going on. So for example, if something's going on with bank one, and it's running rich for some reason, but then sensor two is the one reacting to this, that it's running rich, then it is possible that the computer's thinking that the wires are crossed since the sensors aren't reacting the way they're supposed to. But the most common cause with this is gonna be something inside of the wiring. So that's gonna be the main thing to go and check out. You can also test the sensors to be sure they're good. Some people would go ahead and replace them, but you can't test them first. I made some videos on how you go about testing these. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But the first thing to go and do is to check out that wiring, be sure that all looks good, and then test both those downstream oxygen sensors to be sure that they're good. And so if you go through and you do all that, you check out that wiring, that all looks good. The sensors test good and everything like that. Then it is possible that something's going on with the onboard computer with the PCM or ECM. Something might've got damaged inside of it. If you took it to a mechanic, they very likely would trace the wires back to the ECM or even run new wires possibly because the most common problem with this code is that there's something going on inside the wiring. But if you got to and you checked out that wiring all the way back to the computer, then it is possible that that computer's failed. So the next thing to do would be to get that tested. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a P0041 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.